Well, ladies and gents, I have something very special planned today. But first of all, I would like to show you something. Your boy has another car. It's a 2011 Toyota Camry. Hopefully it get me from point A to point B. And hopefully, this is big news for my camp, for my YouTube channel because I'll be able to get out and film more and basically do the things I want to do on this channel. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoked for it. But first of all, I, for today, what I have planned is I'm gonna, so since I basically sold my Osmo Pocket, my drone, I no longer have those items, I sold them because I was gonna upgrade to a more professional drone that's cost like $800, but I cut the price by selling those items. But since I sold that Osmo Pocket, I have, that was basically the camera I was using to record time lapses. However, this camera has a time lapse mode on it, so I have a really juicy spot. I think we're gonna go try to get a nice time lapse of the sun going down behind the mountains. The sun sets in like about an hour and a half. But before so, I need to go to Walmart and buy a few things. So, catch you on the flip side. All right, it's windy. So I needed to get a few things for today. Um, just some personal stuff. But I also needed to get this. It's basically a six foot USB to mini USB charging cable. I have one, but it's only for USB-C. And basically the reason why I need this one is because I can then, when I do my time lapse, I can plug my camera into an external battery or a power charger. That way I can basically record the time lapse bit for as long as I possibly want. Um, got a monster because it's the best thing ever given to man. And that should be it. I left, I left my tripod back at home. So we're gonna have to go back home and get my tripod. But, and then we should be solid and we should be able to head back to the spot. All right, back home, I got my tripod. Um, you see all the peaks in the foreground of the mountain range. Um, let's get this. All right, so basically this spot I know of is there's like two like little lakes. And the reason why I know of this area is because when my my cousins and my aunt and my uncle used to live here in Colorado, this is the neighborhood they used to live in. There's like a little lake over here. And then over here, it's just a little walk to get there. But there's a dam and you have an awesome view of the mountains. I remember I used to fish over here before with my cousin when he was still here when I visited. Every single time we were at fishing here at dusk and the sunsets were absolutely gorgeous. So that's why I had the idea to come over here and try to shoot a time lapse. This is this is kind of a far walk. But I could take this time to basically explain what's new in my life. Well, not much really besides this car that I just bought. It cost like about 7700 Not too bad. There's a little bit more life on it than the other cars that I owned. Um, it drives really nice, so I'm happy to have it, and I'm happy to basically drive it from back and forth from Wisconsin to Colorado. It's reliable. It could get me back and forth from school, which is all the way down to Denver, which is basically an hour away from me. And that basically means I can basically go on little trips, basically videos I can create that I wasn't really able to create before because I had to rely on other people for cars or like... You know, it's just, it's easier having my own car. That way I could basically create the content I want to create. So besides that, not much more is new. Besides the fact that I'm going back to Wisconsin in less than two weeks now for the summer. And I'm getting very pumped for that because I just miss all my friends, all my family. I miss going on road trips with my friends. It's just, it's a lot of fun. I don't have too much friends here in this state. So going back there for the summer will be pretty nice. Oh, and one more thing that is new, however, is I remember when I said I showed you guys my color checker sheet and I was like, I want to color match all of my footage and all my different cameras to look the same. But I need a software that costs $100 to do that. Well, I figured a loophole. It takes a little bit more time and a little bit more effort on my part. But if I basically go under a different video editor than what I use, which is DaVinci Resolve, I can basically color calibrate based on the colors that 
color checker shows and that way I can color match all my footage for you guys. It's just easier to watch, it doesn't take away from the story I'm trying to create. All right, well, we finally made it. This is the spot where we're gonna get a time lapse. So you can see, great view of the mountain range right here. And you got this little lake, it's a little dried up right now because usually the shoreline's literally right there. But um, this is where I'm gonna set up the tripod and get a time lapse. Originally I was gonna be right down there to where the dam is, but I wanna make sure you can see these two peaks right here. And you can't really see those two peaks right there from that area, so I think I'm gonna set up right here. I had to improvise a little bit. It's about maybe an hour before dark, so I'm gonna record for probably that hour, get set up, just hang out, listen to some music. I'm really stoked, this is looking really nice. You can see all the peaks today, you got some clouds in the sky. So let's get this done. So time lapse mission was a success. The sun just went down behind the mountains. Here we have probably just a couple more minutes before dark. I literally couldn't pick a better day to do this time lapse. It's like so gorgeous, as it always is here in Colorado. And I'm just really happy of how it turned out. I had the camera shooting the time lapse for about an hour. Killed no battery whatsoever because I had it hooked up to my external battery. Very happy of how this turned out today. Speaking of, I think this is a good low light test for my new lens I just bought. And so far, it's doing a really good job in lower light. I mean, it's not dark out, but if it gets dark out, I have like a LED light I would vlog with. It's doing like really good. And I'm actually surprised it's doing this good. Okay, so now I have a half hour walk back to where I parked. Cause there's a huge trail around these two lakes. They're kind of big lakes in these neighborhoods. Anyway, on the walk back, there's one thing I didn't want to talk about that I did fail to mention. So for that like field recorder that I used to get sound design during my B-roll, I I kind of found out what I did wrong for my last vlog, and that's basically audio levels, audio gains, and failure of editing the audio in post. So what I found out is there's an audio jack in the side of this field recorder and I bought a pair of headphones so basically when I'm out recording it's easier to hear what you're recording that way you can set the audio gains to the perfect levels so whenever you record your audio it, the audio is not peaking and then it's easier basically to edit the audio from there so hopefully during a little bit of b-roll I did shoot hopefully my sound design makes it a little bit more interesting so I've, I can basically conclude today as a huge success. I'm very happy with how this time lapse turned out. And just look at this view. Wow, I'm just amazed. I had to bump my ISO up to 800 when earlier I was recording at 100 the whole video, but it's like damn near dark out. With just a little bit of light in the skyline. It's recording really well. It's recognizing my face. I'm gonna have to boost it up a little bit in post, but still, it's looking, damn, it's looking good. All right. Let's turn this light on first. All right, well, back to the car after a long walk. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed this little vlog just as much as I did. I had a really fun time filming that time lapse. It's such a beautiful, beautiful sunset. Yeah, my my channel is growing a little bit, so it would help me a lot if you please, 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 please like, subscribe, and even share to m as much people as you think will like this video. It will mean a lot to me because I just really, these videos are an outlet basically to me, and it will really mean a lot to me if you would share. Thank you for watching this video. If you made it this far, I really appreciate it. Like I said, please like, subscribe, and share. Tap the notification bell just to get my latest content and all that. And see you on the next 
you see.